left to go with the game, really. Um, just three more screens of world map, and that's it. So these next levels are interesting. You can actually skip these. They're actually kind of luck-based. Um, yeah, they trigger randomly, so you can actually bypass entire levels. They're essentially mini stages, kind of like the uh, plant-looking ones in the last world. So that one's probably the easiest thing the first. Let's see if I really hope I can demonstrate this. But yeah, see, I went to this tile and nothing happened. But if I go to this one, then I get pulled in. So kind of weird that they actually did it that way. It's not like Hammer Bros, where it's like a set encounter. And fun fact, you can actually fly over that wall. It's really actually pretty easy to pull off. <laughs> pro tip. Uh -oh. Anywhere near a pro at this game. I'm actually kind of terrible. Like in the last episode, couldn't even do the airship right. So yeah, that's the second one. But because this is an all the levels run, I'll have to go back and do this one. Honestly, these little fire things. Potaboos, Potaboos, I don't know what they're called. This is actually way easier than the cheap cheap level normally. I mean, the cheap cheap level went super fast just because I flew over the entire thing. But naturally, that is probably one of the easier ones. And it's checking in my inventory here, and I would be going. But let's try to do some about it. This is actually the fastest auto scroller in the game. As you can probably tell, it's moving super fast. Um, so much that the side of the screen is flickering, actually. Uh, if you have a P-Wing, this is the time to use it. But I just want to see if I can, because I almost never play the stage as it's supposed to be played. Actually, I'm still not playing it like as well as I could, because, you know, some people do this level with no power-ups, which is what I'm going to have to be doing pretty soon at this rate. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is kind of a scary level to be small Mario in, and I can't believe that actually worked out in my favor. I can't believe I survived either. And just because the game design is one to be mean, they put no items. But this is this guy again. I think he flies, but I'm not even gonna give him the chance. It's Mario's just that cool. Or he just cheats. <laughs> that too. And a warp pipe. Down here is the next area, which is completely in darkness. And this is because I didn't use the P Wing in the last level, I had a plan, but I wanted to try it without. P Wing was back, but I have an extra, so I can do one of my least favorite levels in the game with no effort whatsoever. Um, okay, I'll try to show it off. Kinda suck to fly over the entire thing and not even get to see it, but I guess I'm playing this level after all. Oh, great. Um, and without even a vacuum, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, this stage is not exactly my favorite. Because of this part. Yeah, looks fun, huh? You have to like jump off the Koopa or Bullet Bill, go over to the other side, and that's it. Not two P-Wings, but I'm gonna try getting it this way because apparently I'm... I really don't want to take any chances. And waste a P-Wing. <laughs> Let's just waste a raccoon leaf, but hey, whatever works. And I did waste it, but this is dark. I barely even finish a sentence. So how many enemies there are here? I can't wait this time. Or are they just not gonna fire? Because they're trying to be mean. And this part. For some reason, I have a really hard time with this block timing. So. This will probably end horribly. Well, I'll just totally survive. It'll be fine. I'm not complaining. 
but I kind of wish that the, the basically easy mode run had been the actual successful one. Yeah, the monochrome level for some reason. I'm actually curious if they might use an aesthetic like this for uh, Mario Maker. Because uh, you know the basic game is going to be in it, but I wonder if they'll do anything like really special like this. And yeah, Angry Sun. I don't know why everyone hates like the first Angry Sun level. I mean, it's not that bad. Like this one's actually a lot more tricky, especially with that power up, which is why I'm going to use one. Because I don't care if this is like cheating. I just want to beat the level. You can actually fall down the quicksand and um, find a hidden area, but I don't really want to. Because it's just more things to worry about. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but without a raccoon or a or whatever, this is not fun. I do find it interesting that they didn't keep the aesthetic. How like the enemies and the quicksand and the angry sun, for some reason, are still in color. It's like, why don't you just stick to a consistent design choice? <laughs> but that would be hard to animate, probably. And you really, now that I think about it, you really wouldn't want enemies disappearing against the background, so yeah. Actually, that's a good thing. Um, this fort is really confusing. At least I found it really confusing my first time through. It's actually really easy. Um, that was not going to be easy. And they give a fire flower because that's like the worst power up in this area. I'm just gonna get hit because <laughs> I totally don't want a fire flower here. Jump through here. And... Oh, convey a belt. I forgot. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That could have been a disaster. Shouldn't have jumped there. Because now I can't get any other power ups. Conveyor belt's gone right, so. Leap of faith! And it actually worked. Running jump. Power up. Star. Yeah, if you actually have a Tanuki suit, you can't cheat and like just break through there. It's really nice. I kinda wish I could do that because this level's long and confusing. Where am I? Seriously, where am I? <laughs> okay, this is the, where you have to go. But... Where's the... Where's the P-switch? <laughs> Cause there's a P-switch to basically... Oh, here it is. Yeah, this makes the blocks into coins, and then you can do stuff. Wow, great description. What? There. I've never seen that happen before. It's like, is there a hidden conveyor belt with a glitch? I just have no clue. But hey, I'm not complaining, I just skipped the huge portion of the level. If you want to see the full level, sorry, but I'm not gonna complain because I hate this level. It's actually, honestly, kind of nice getting to skip like all of it. Oh, this is actually other than that death. This is actually a really good run for this world. Normally I'm pretty bad at this. No, insult injury. I'm just gonna use a star because I have like a skajillion power-ups that I won't actually use. And I'm pretty sure when you beat the game there's a sort of new game plus, but you lose all your power-ups anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to get through as many as I can. I promise I won't use a P-Wing during the final boss though, because that would be like the lamest thing I could possibly do. So I'm going to try doing something different. I wonder if anyone's ever actually finished the entire final castle with the frog suit without getting hit. And if so, I'm doing videos of this because I'd actually be curious to see that. Like a perfect frog. 
Dark Suit <laughs> Final Boss, because it's a, honestly a very platform heavy level, and Dark Suit, ironically, is not very good at platform. Because Mario hops instead of walks, so your running timing is different. It's like you're basically jumping kind of blind at times because you're, you're spacing away from the. Uh, where you're actually jumping it might be different than you think it is because Mario is technically hopping instead of walking. And I don't know if that made any sense, but hey, boss is done. Mini boss. That's the last time we see that guy for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I think 3D World. Yeah, he's dead till 3D World. Okay, he's not dead because he's in 3D World. But. Final level. It's short. What the heck? At least try it. Okay, you wanna fly over these guys if you can. If you just run, I'm pretty sure you can make it. But it's not something I'm gonna try. And there's actually a funny glitch here. I, I, I don't really want to do too many glitches because that defeats the purpose of doing an all levels run. But this one's actually pretty helpful. Normally you go down the stairs and there'd be like donut blocks and stuff. What? I, I, I'm feeling lazy. If I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Just phase through the wall and land up here. That's actually a cool trick because it puts you in a, good, a better position for this. No wall. I thought there was a wall. Fun fact, those doors lead to different versions of the final boss room. So some are easier than others, and I have I honestly haven't really planned ahead, so I could be getting completely screwed because I picked one of the harder layouts. I'm hoping I picked the easy layout, but uh, somehow I have a feeling, knowing my luck, I ended up picking one of the hard layouts. I think this room is slightly different too, depending on which room you take. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that though. Yeah, and if you don't have any power, this is really scary. Oh good, I picked an easy one. Sometimes there are actually more players. And that's the end boss. Bowser, of course. What you have to do is, you can't attack him directly, unlike every other boss in the game. You basically have to lure him into destroying those blocks. Fun fact, you can actually die after you finish the boss. <laughs> Yeah, if you like fall into it, you're basically trying to get him to fall down that pit. You can literally die and just by falling down the pit, even if Bowser's already dead. Okay, this is actually not going very well. I really would like a power, but make do. And I got hit. Okay. Nothing too bad. This isn't that bad of a final level. Yeah, see, running works every time. Oh yeah, I think of it. I was doing things, things the hard way. <laughs> um, I actually have no clue if I can even get that far. To be honest with the, the like to do. Well, I guess that's just a relevant discussion now. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can actually use a fire flower instead of the other method I was using, but I can never actually get a fire flower to the boss, so I'm just used to doing the other method. Like, this. Like, how is it, like, easier in, to do it the other way? And. Well, okay. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is the boss is easier with Fire Flower because you can just kill it, not kill, but you can like defeat Bowser that way. But just getting a Fire Flower to the boss makes it completely not worth it because you, because I always die anyway. Good thing it's also not a continuous laser, or I'd be dead. But there's a Tanuki suit right there, so raccoon suit. So never mind. I don't know why I'm seeing you even saying anymore. Um, oh wow, that's really bad. Back of plan. This is why I leave power-ups. Please let me jump that. Good. Okay. Also, please don't- Yes. Good. I was hoping the block didn't, like, disappear 
have to go past it because some items do, as I've explained before. Try not to get hit this time. It would have been hilarious actually if I did get hit immediately after saying I better not get try not to get hit this time. Whatever it was I said. I can't remember what I said like 20 seconds ago. And try this again. Bowser's jumping timing threw me off. I thought he, like, when he jumps, that's where he's gonna land. But no, he actually kind of aims for in midair for him because he's that big of a chip. So you have to actually, it's, it's like if you move to a really bad spot while he's mid jump, he'll probably still be in a horrible position for you. So yeah, you have to jump at like the last one. Yeah, even then he moved slightly to the right, because that was exactly where I wanted to be. Actually this works because I don't think he can hit me. And he's dead. Uh, he's coming back. He's in the game. He can't be dead. He's just probably... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.